So in this video, I want to go through some more examples of using the laws of logarithms, and we're going to write each of these in the form of log base b of k. So for the first one, we've got log base a of 4 plus log base a of 3. The base number's the same, they're both a, which means I can combine them, and the plus sign there means that I can use the product rule. If it's a subtraction, we use the quotient rule. So addition is the product rule, and I can write that as log base a of 4 times 3. And so that is log base a of 12. The second one, we have the 3 out the front of the logarithm, which allows me to bring the 3 up to the power using the power rule. So I can write that as log base 2 of 5 cubed. Now 5 cubed is 125. So 3 log base 2 of 5 is the same as log base 2 of 125. Number 3, the base numbers are the same. We have a subtraction, so we're going to use the quotient rule. So log base 10 of 6 over 3. And that, of course, is log base 10 of 2. Number 4, the base number is the same. We have an addition, so we're going to use the product rule. And that would be log base 6 of 20 times 4. So log base 6 of 80. Number five, the base number's the same. We've got a subtraction, so we're going to use the quotient rule. This will be log base four of three over 12. Now three over 12 is one quarter. Now we're going to stick with this one for a moment because it's useful to see how, fur how much further we can manipulate that. Log base four of one quarter is the same as log base 4 of 4 to the minus 1. 1 quarter is 4 to the minus 1. And if you remember, log base b of b to the x was x. This is what we had when we started deriving the laws of logarithms. So here we've got 4 and 4. So b is 4. And the x here is minus 1. So this is actually the same thing as minus 1. OK? Now, you can take a couple of steps doing that, if you prefer. You could use the power rule to bring the minus sign down to the front, like so. And log base 4, 4 is, of course, 1. And so we get the negative 1 again. So this manipulation here is very important, and you, it's very important that you understand how that worked. Now, of course, it's not in the form of log base b of k anymore. I understand that. Um, but either of those two forms will be fine. Um, this is just extra, but you should be able to get that through to minus 1. Right, let's look at the last one, number 6. So we've got the 1 half out the front. I'll bring that up to the power. So that's log base 7 of 25 to the power of a half. And 25 to the half is a square root of 25, which is 5. So log base 7 of 5. And that's us done.